Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, this video is just speculation. But right now, there's a question on who Floyd Mayweather's next opponent is. Apparently, he had been in talks with the Amir Khan group. Apparently, they have at least reached an agreement on terms if Floyd decides to go forward with the fight, according to reports. Now, according to Twitter, Floyd has thrown the question of his next opponent out to the fans. And he wants to know who you would want for him to fight. Amir Khan or Marcos Maidana? who just won a share of the belt at 147 pounds by destroying Adrian Broner. And when I say destroy, Adrian Broner gets knocked down twice in that fight. Adrian Broner loses by several rounds on the scorecard. Now, in my opinion, and it's just based on fight styles, I have no inside information whatsoever. I don't know if there is a signed contract for the Amir Khan fight. I don't. But in my opinion, Floyd Mayweather most likely is going to fight Marcus Maidana. Let's talk about why. And keep in mind, Maidana was supposed to fight Adrian Broner next. Broner exercised his rematch clause. But... Apparently, they couldn't pull the fight together in April. Keep in mind, too, that here you have parties who are represented by the same management group. Al Heyman manages both Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather. So, of course, you have familiar players. In fact, you have the same players, right, making the decision on who Floyd is going to fight next and obviously there could be accommodations made to Adrian Broner, step aside money, etc., uh, future promise of a fight, whatever. If this fight, which is much bigger money than even a Marcus Maidana Adrian Broner rematch, right? If this fight, Floyd against Maidana, goes forward. Most importantly, though, is the fact that right now, Amir Khan does not have. A belt right he's not the title holder at 147 pounds Marcus Maidana is right Floyd can quiet a lot of people calling him out right now by fighting someone who's a reigning champion right you know how fighters like to say hey you're avoiding me when do I get my shot they can't say that to you when you yourself are fighting a reigning champion, right? If Tyson Fury signs to fight Vladimir Klitschko, it would be foolish for even a very good heavyweight like Lucas Brown to say, hey, Tyson Fury's avoiding me, right? You don't avoid competition when you're fighting for the title. I believe just on a legacy and public relations basis, Floyd Mayweather would do better off fighting Marcus Maidana. But perhaps the most important reason why he should fight Marcus Maidana is because, in my opinion, even given Maidana's brilliance against Adrian Broner, that fight is a much easier fight than the Amir Khan fight. What I want to encourage everyone to do is to take a look at Marcus Maidana's fight against Devin Alexander. Now, I understand Alexander's a southpaw, but Alexander moves in that fight. He uses his speed. He's hard to hit, just like Floyd Mayweather. Right? What you'll see on that film is that a fighter with movement, more movement than Adrian Broner, who can bend at the waist, who can hit and move. That fighter is going to give Marcus Maidana all kinds of problems. 
I believe Maidana is an easy fight for Floyd. I also think, too, that the advertisements would be compelling for the fight. You would see Marcus Maidana knocking down Adrian Broner twice. You would see Marcus Maidana beating Eric Morales. Right? Very good fight. But Maidana's hand was raised at the end of it. You would see Marcus Maidana knocking down a much younger Victor Ortiz years ago. Right? The argument would be that Marcus Maidana has the power to at least knock down Floyd Mayweather just like he knocked down Adrian Broner. Forgotten would be the fact that Adrian Broner was a statue compared to Floyd Mayweather. Adrian Broner doesn't bend at the waist like Floyd Mayweather. Right? Mayweather has movement. Mayweather has timing. Right? This would be Mayweather picking up another share of the belt at 147 pounds. More importantly, it would give Mayweather a lot of flexibility. Because, of course, when you have a title, you can decide when you're going to fight your mandatory. Right? The Mayweather fights would be title fights. Right? Now, let's talk about Amir Khan. I've mentioned this in videos. I'm fully aware of the fact that Amir Khan doesn't have a lot of neck movement. Okay, fair enough. I'm aware of the fact that Amir Khan doesn't have the best chin. All right. I'm aware of the fact that Amir Khan doesn't really move with punches well. Gets caught up in the moment suddenly against fighters like Greedus Prescott, Danny Garcia. Amir Khan ends up in shootouts. He stays in the pocket too long. But don't kid yourself, Amir Khan is one of the few fighters out there who's faster than Floyd Mayweather. Those punches in combinations, right? If Amir Khan doesn't sprout roots, if he's mobile, right? If he's in and out, fighting an ambush style, if he's using length, and I'm aware of the fact that the two fighters are roughly the same height. Khan doesn't have a height advantage. But if he's using length, if he's moving around the ring, if when Floyd gets up on the ropes and tries to go into a shell, if Amir Khan, like Ray Beltran against Ricky Burns, just looks at him, doesn't throw any punches, forces Floyd to actually engage him, Mayweather is going to find that he has a very hard time matching Khan's volume. Now, yeah, Khan has a bad chin that shows up when he fights Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia hunts you down. When's the last fight you saw where Floyd Mayweather hunted down an opponent? Right, so, not only does Amir Khan not have a belt, He's the much harder fight than Marcus Maidana. Keep in mind, too, for the skeptics out there, those two actually fought. Amir Khan beat Marcus Maidana. By the way, and I'll agree, Khan gallops like a horse toward the later part of that fight. But let's remember, there's a knockdown in that fight. And it's Amir Khan who gets the knockdown. Right? He hits Maidana with a body shot. Maidana hits the canvas. That's the kind of offensive arsenal that Amir Khan has. Khan's faster than Maidana early in that fight. And Khan wins the early part of that fight. When's the last Floyd Mayweather fight that you've seen? where the fight has made it into the 6th or 7th round and Floyd's behind in the fight. That could easily happen against Amir Khan. Against Marcus Maidana, let's just say, go back and look at that Devin Alexander fight. Go back and look at the Soto Karas fight. You're going to see Maidana was sorely tested in those fights. 
Now, the public's forgotten because, in part, the public hates Adrian Broner. I'm just calling it as I see it, right? The public feels that Marcus Maidana came in, fought like a champ, took the title. Fair enough. I believe he would get exposed by Floyd Mayweather, and Mayweather would have political cover because he's fighting a reigning popular champion. In other words, those people in the background screaming, what about Keith Thurman? Right? What about Sergio Martinez? Those people would be silenced. Let me throw this out, too, just to shake things up a little bit. If Mayweather wins this fight, right, then Mayweather could really get experimental. Because keep in mind, you know, he would literally be fighting champions, winning titles, and stuff like that. If Mayweather really wanted to throw caution to the wind, there's a fight out there style-wise that I think he would do well on against a fighter that I'm guessing most of the public thinks destroys him. And that's middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. I would encourage everyone to look at Golovkin's last fight. What you're going to see is when you fight Golovkin from distance, Golovkin's almost impossible to beat. Right? Very hard punches, very economical, right? Can hurt you. Can get around a guard from distance. But, as big a puncher as Golovkin is, I don't think he has that punch. If you smother him, if you can fight him inside. Floyd Mayweather can shorten his punches. Floyd Mayweather can fight you inside in the middle of the ring. Right? I think Floyd Mayweather, 5'8 Floyd Mayweather, style-wise, would give Gennady Golovkin all he could handle. Understand, the story in boxing is that guys build up great records and people don't pay close attention to the styles. Right? When's the last Gennady Golovkin fight where you saw him dealing with a fighter who's inside on him? Isn't everything really mid-range, right? Mid-range mid hooker Matthew Macklin or long-range, right? When has he fought a guy who's been up here? I think it'd be jarring. I think that fight would be interesting right if Floyd Mayweather wanted to test himself down the road that would be a fight I would look at the fighters I would stay away from quite frankly other than Amir Khan who I think is dangerous right I think Anthony Mundane would be very dangerous to Floyd Mayweather right I think Mayweather would find that Mundine can fight you inside or outside, right? I'm not sure if that's the case with Gennady Golovkin. And keep in mind, I'm someone who has been pumping Golovkin here online. So just food for thought. Mayweather has many roads he can travel. Right here, I think his choice is between a tougher opponent who doesn't have a belt, right, who has had some career setbacks of late. That Danny Garcia loss wasn't so long ago, and it was a dramatic loss. It was a loss by KO. Right? He could fight that guy. Or, he can fight a guy who just looked great in public, in a big fight, who actually has a title. Who also has a style that has shown some cracks against mobile opponents. I think Mayweather takes the latter. I think he fights Marcus Maidana next. We'll see who he actually picks. Again, this video is pure speculation. Let me hear from you. Which one of these two should he fight next? Please, let's limit it to these two. I don't want to hear from the Keith Thurman crowd in this conversation. I don't want to hear from the Adrian Broner crowd in this conversation. I understand there's some other people out there the Eris Landy Lara crowd, the Brad Solomon crowd, the James Kirkland crowd, I get it.
I understand a lot of people want to fight Floyd Mayweather. But out of these two, Amir Khan or Marcus Maidana, if you're advising Floyd Mayweather, which choice do you make? Share it with all of us. Thanks for stopping by.